the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Dear God, please bless this wine, which represents the blood of Jesus shed for us. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our lively hope for a resurrection, to be resurrected just as Jesus was. It's a hope. It's a hope we have in Jesus that he died on the cross, resurrected, and um, that gives us a hope for our own resurrection, but a hope for forgiveness. And as, as Jesus followers, when we slip up from time to time, we're doing our best to follow Jesus, but when we slip up, we need to ask for forgiveness, and we need to hope that we'll be forgiven. And so that's our lively hope. It's, it's that Jesus showed the way for us, that we could also have a resurrection we could get that forgiveness from God, if God wills it, and that um, well, we're known by our fruits. We have to show truly that we are followers of Jesus and not take it for granted what he did on the cross. Because his people keep his commands. Yes. Yes, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So, we're doing this Lord's Supper from an attitude of humility. The, the power of forgiveness is in God's hands. God decides who gets eternal life and who doesn't. to 